The Prudovalsky's horse is the last truly wild horse on earth, a living relic from a time when untamed herds thundered across the ancient steppes. Unlike modern domestic horses, these remarkable animals have never been tamed or ridden by humans, preserving a lineage that stretches back thousands of years. They are a living link to a prehistoric world, their sturdy bodies and upright manes echoing the wild ancestors of all horses. Their presence on the windswept plains is a reminder of a time when vast grasslands were ruled by powerful herds. For countless generations, Przewalski's horses roamed the heart of Central Asia, perfectly adapted to survive the region's harsh winters, scarce water, and ever-present predators. Their resilience allowed them to thrive where few other large animals could. But as the modern world expanded, their ancient domain began to disappear. Habitat loss, competition with livestock and relentless hunting pushed these wild horses to the very brink, and by 1969, they were declared extinct in the wild. Their spirit, however, survived in captivity. Only 12 individuals remained, scattered across zoos and private collections, a fragile thread holding the species back from total extinction. Recognizing the urgency, conservationists from around the world united to launch an ambitious breeding program. Through careful management, genetic research, and international cooperation, they fought to save the Przewalski's horse and restore it to its rightful place in the wild. For decades, these horses lived behind fences, but their wild instincts never faded. Even in captivity, they remained alert, strong, and untamed, waiting for a chance to return home. The ultimate goal was always reintroduction, not just survival in zoos, but a true return to the wild steppes where their ancestors once roamed free. This global effort became a beacon of hope, inspiring people everywhere and proving that with dedication and vision, we can help nature recover from even the brink of extinction. Today, the Przewalski's horse stands as one of the greatest conservation success stories, a living symbol of resilience and the power of human compassion. Their journey from extinction to revival is a testament to what can be achieved when people work together, united by a belief in the value of every wild creature and the resilience of nature itself. The wild horse's story is far from over, it's just begun again, galloping into a future shaped by hope, perseverance, and the enduring spirit of the wild. Decades of dedicated captive breeding and international collaboration have led to a bold new chapter, rewilding Przewalski's horses in Spain's Iberian highlands. Once on the very brink of extinction, these remarkable animals are now at the heart of one of Europe's most ambitious conservation projects. In 2023, these ancient grazers arrived in a landscape that needed them as much as they needed it. Their return marks a turning point, not just for the species, but for the entire ecosystem. The highlands, once shaped by large herbivores, had lost their wild grazers and with them, their ecological balance. For centuries, these grasslands stood silent, missing the thundering hooves and grazing patterns that once maintained their health and diversity. Rewilding Spain saw the horses as natural landscape engineers, hardy, adaptable and perfect for restoring the ecosystem. Their grazing helps control vegetation, reduce wildfire risk, and create habitats for countless other species. Released first into a large fenced area, the horses acclimatized and formed herds, preparing for true freedom. This careful transition ensures they can thrive and adapt before venturing fully into the wild. Here, they're encouraged to be wild, rediscovering instincts lost in captivity. Social bonds strengthen and natural behaviors emerge as they explore their new home. Their presence fills a centuries-old void, signaling renewal and the return of wildness. The landscape begins to transform, echoing with life once more. The sight of these horses under the Spanish sun is a powerful symbol of a new conservation vision, one that values wildness, resilience, and the interconnectedness of all life. Their journey from zoos to the wilds of Spain is a story of hope, resilience, and ecological restoration, a testament to what's possible when people come together to give nature a second chance. The Iberian Highlands were once a patchwork of habitats shaped by traditional grazing. Shepherds and their flocks maintained open grasslands supporting diverse wildlife, but as people left for cities in the mid-20th century, grazing stopped and the land changed. Dense scrub took over, biodiversity plummeted, and wildflowers vanished. The loss of open spaces hurt insects, birds, and small mammals. The unchecked growth also created a dangerous tinderbox, increasing wildfire risk. Once a source of life, the abandoned land became a liability. 
the landscape lost its balance, and the need for intervention became urgent. The return of wild grazers is an attempt to restore what was lost. Rewilding is about reviving the natural processes that once kept this region healthy. The highlands are ready for a new chapter. Without grazers, the Iberian highlands lost more than animals. They lost essential ecosystem functions. Grazing animals are ecosystem engineers, shaping habitats through eating, trampling and fertilizing. Their absence led to uniform static landscapes and a dramatic drop in biodiversity. Open grasslands disappeared replaced by dense scrub that supports far less life. Nutrient cycling slowed, soil health declined and the land's vitality faded. Ecosystems need disturbance, grazing, fire or wind to stay healthy and diverse. Traditional livestock once provided this, but their removal broke the cycle. The reintroduction of wild herbivores like the Przewalski's horse aims to restore this missing process. Their return is about bringing back the natural rhythms that sustain life. The highlands need wild grazers to thrive again. Rewilding is the key to restoring balance. Przewalski's horses are more than grazers. They're ecosystem engineers. Unlike cattle, they eat tough grasses and shrubs, targeting the overgrown vegetation choking the land. Their grazing creates a patchwork of short and tall plants, boosting biodiversity. Short grass areas attract birds and insects, longer patches offer shelter for other species. Their hooves break up soil, creating seedbeds for wildflowers and pioneer plants. Horses disperse seeds as they move, helping plants colonize new areas. Their dung enriches the soil and supports insects, which feed birds and bats. Every action, grazing, moving, fertilizing, triggers a cascade of positive effects. The horses restart natural cycles that had stalled for decades, they sculpt the landscape restoring complexity and resilience, their presence is a catalyst for ecological recovery, the land comes alive again under their influence. Wild horses play a crucial and often overlooked role in wildfire prevention, acting as natural land managers across vast landscapes. By grazing on dense scrub, coarse grasses and undergrowth, they remove flammable fuel that would otherwise accumulate and create dangerous conditions for wildfires. Their constant movement and feeding patterns help to break up thick vegetation, creating natural fire breaks that slow or even stop the spread of flames. Unlike heavy machinery, which can damage delicate soils and is limited by terrain, wild horses can access remote, steep and rugged areas that are otherwise impossible to reach. Their work is not only more effective but also far more sustainable as it requires no fossil fuels or human intervention. Landscapes shaped by grazing are less likely to burn catastrophically. When fires do occur, they tend to be milder, burning at lower temperatures and moving more slowly. These smaller patchy fires can actually benefit the ecosystem by clearing old growth and making way for new life. As horses open up the land, sunlight returns to the soil, awakening dormant seeds that have waited years for their chance to grow. Wildflowers and native grasses begin to flourish, painting the meadows with vibrant colors and attracting a host of new life. Pollinators like bees and butterflies thrive in these revitalized meadows, drawn by the abundance of nectar and pollen. The hum of insects fills the air, a sure sign that the ecosystem is recovering and becoming more resilient. Birds and small mammals soon follow, finding new habitats and food sources in the varied vegetation. The return of these animals signals a healthy, functioning landscape. As more species return, the entire food web becomes richer and more complex, supporting a greater diversity of life at every level. Horses are the keystone species unlocking this transformation, their presence setting off a cascade of positive changes throughout the ecosystem. Their presence is living proof that restoring just one natural process, grazing, can revitalize an entire landscape, bringing balance and health back to the land. With wild grazers, fire prevention and biodiversity are not separate goals, but two sides of the same coin, working together to create resilient, thriving ecosystems. Przewalski's horses are just the beginning. Rewilding aims to restore a complete ecosystem. Scavengers like Cenarius and Griffin vultures are vital, cleaning up carcasses and preventing disease. As herbivore populations grow, vultures find food and help recycle nutrients, the project supports vulture populations with safe nesting sites and poison-free environments. Healthy vulture numbers signal a robust ecosystem, closing crucial food web loops. 
open, flower-rich grasslands benefit countless invertebrates and birds of prey, restored streams and ponds support amphibians and fish, rewilding is about rebuilding the entire pyramid of life, from soil microbes to apex predators, every species returned strengthens the web of life. At the top of the food web sits the Iberian lynx, Europe's most endangered feline. Intensive conservation has brought the lynx back from the brink, and rewilding offers new territory. Lynx survival depends on healthy rabbit populations which thrive in the mosaic habitats created by wild grazers. As rabbits return, so does the lynx completing the ecological puzzle. Apex predators regulate prey and shape the landscape, adding complexity and balance. The lynx's return is the ultimate sign of a healthy, functioning ecosystem. It means the food web is fully reconnected from plants to predators. The lynx's presence signals that wildness has truly returned. The highlands echo once more with the chorus of a thriving natural world. Rewilding isn't just for nature, it's for people too. The Iberian Highlands Project connects conservation with local communities building a nature-based economy. Wildlife returns draw visitors, creating jobs and new opportunities for rural residents. Nature-based tourism celebrates the region's wild heritage and supports local livelihoods. Rewilded landscapes provide essential services, fire prevention, clean water, and carbon storage. These benefits improve well-being and security for everyone. Rewilding is an investment in the future, ensuring the land can support generations to come. It's a story of hope, proof that we can heal our planet and ourselves. By restoring key species and natural processes, we create richer, more resilient landscapes. The wild is not a relic of the past but a vital part of our shared future.